Hello and welcome to another review shot here at Optic Straight Headquarters. Today we'll be reviewing Zeiss Conquest V4, the model 6 to 24 by 50 in particular. Uh, we'll of course start by um, pointing out some features of the series itself and then we'll go and talk about this particular model. Now Zeiss is a renowned manufacturer of optics and they've been around for more than 150 years so in the field of optics we can be pretty sure that they know what they're doing. This year they've introduced this Conquest V4 new series of, uh, of rifle scopes at EVA 2018 in Nuremberg and currently there are four models to choose from. Another product that they introduced is Victory Rangefinder, their new binoculars with an integrated laser rangefinder. Okay, let's get go back to the Conquest V4 series and talk a little bit about its predecessors. Uh, this is the series that replaced the Zeiss Conquest DL and for now the range of rifle scope as regards the magnification range is a little bit narrower. The DL series was more Europe oriented as concerns the magnification. In the V4 series there are two Europe oriented rifle scopes and two American oriented rifle scopes. We'll have to see if the American models will sell here in Europe. But if we consider the fact that the European hunters prefer, prefer to hunt with lower magnifications than Americans, the 1 to 4 by 24 and 3 to 12 by 56 will sell much better than 4 to 16 by 44 and 6 to 24 by 50. For the European market, a model with a magnification such as 2.5 to 10 by 50 would be a great addition to the series and would definitely be popular here. Now, with the V4 series, Zeiss expanded their lineup and filled up the blank space that they had around 1000 euros. They now have Victory V8 at the very top, which is their premium rifle scope. Then they have now V4, which costs around 1000 euros, and they have the V6 in between. Let's talk about origins of this rifle scope, of this rifle scope because there's also a major change here. Now, Zeiss was always successful in the price class of around 1000 euros. The series that came before Conquest V4 was, were, as I said, Conquest DL and Duralet. And both of these series were made in Europe and were optically very decent for the price. With Conquest V4, Zeiss has made a major change. The series is no longer manufactured in Germany, but in Japan, if you can see here. It is written right here, so it's manufactured in Japan. But looking through the scope, the fact that it's made elsewhere that does, not, does not seem to influence the optical quality of this size. Some hunters, however, might be convinced that for a price of around 1000 euros and above you should get a German made size rifle scope. We will see uh, in time if this was a good move by size or not. Um, in the series, as I said, there are four models. So we have the Twilight, we have the Driven Hunt Specialist, so 1 to 4 by 24, the 4 to 16 by 44, which is a model uh, suitable for stalking with uh, magnifications more uh, suitable for uh, American hunters. The same applies to 6 to 24 by 50 the model that I have here, which is also American oriented as regards the magnification and is meant for long range shots. And then the final one is 3 to 12 by 56, which is meant for uh, hunting in low light conditions. Today we have here the 6 to 24 by 50 and we're going to talk about the features of the model. And uh, let's start by, um, let's start with the properties. So. It has a four times zoom factor, but this is the this is uh, a feature of the entire series. It weighs 640 grams and measures 36 centimeters in length. The field of view is 6.3 meters at 100 meters at lowest magnification, and at the highest magnification, the field of view is 1.6 meters on 100 meters. The tube diameter is. Uh, 30 millimeters uh, just like with the whole series. So since the magnification goes all the way up to to 24 
the rifle scope has a parallax, ad parallax adjustment knob here on the left and uh, the parallax can be set from 50 meters all the way up to infinity. The knob holds the position well but rotating it is also very convenient so the surface here the uneven surface allows you to get a fine grip. The turret, so let's start with the windage turret which is a classic hunting turret covered with a cap. Uh, one click equals a quarter MOA which means that one click moves the point of impact for approximately uh, 0 0.7 centimeters on 100 meters clicks as you can hear are crisp they can also be very nicely felt the upper part of the turret is designed so that the user gets a nice firm grip that allows an easier rotation resetting it to zero is also simple you can just pull it out and align the arrow with dot underneath and there it is it is reset to zero now the turret is as you can see by the looking at this arrow that it is counterclockwise meaning that rotating the windage turret counterclockwise will move the point of impact to the right. Now like the 416 by 44 model from the same series so from the Conquest before the 6 to 24 by 50 model also comes with a ballistic turret. Now they call the at size they call this turret ballistic so the ASV, ASV but Looking at it, you can see that it is not a typical ballistic turret where numbers mark specific distances. It is more, more a tactical turret. So, uh, talking about its features, it is a multi-turn turret. And it comes with a turn indicator underneath. So there are these lines which tell you in which turn you are. But the indicator, as you can see, is not the best out there. The lines are so close together that you really have to look close in order to see in which turn you are. One click, the same as with the windage turret, equals a quarter MOA. This is 0 0.7 centimeters on 100 meters. One whole rotation equals 20 MOA and the turn, turret allows three turns altogether. So there is 60 MOA uh, altogether. This turret allows 60 MOA of movement. Now, Let's talk a little bit ab about the illumination. So the 6 to 24 by 50 is the only model in the series that can be both with or without illumination. There are two radicals to choose from, the ZBR1 and ZMOA1. The model with the ZBR1 radical comes without illumination. With ZMOA1, the user can choose between the model with illumination and without illumination. The illumination costs 100 euros extra, but it is a welcome addition. So let's see here in the box. Yes, yeah, so this, this model here is the one with ZMOA1 radical. So you can also get this model right that we have right here with illumination. This one that I have here is without it. The model, this model in particular with um, that lacks illumination costs, it retails for 1,000 to 100 euros and with illumination it costs 100 euros more so it costs 100, 1,300 euros. As regards mounting, uh, for now size does not offer this rifle scope with a mounting rail underneath so for now there is a only the, the only option available is mounting it with rings. So this is a minus and we hope that size will change this in the future and really hope to see these rifle scopes uh, manufactured with a ZMVM rail underneath. It would be a great addition. Uh, let's talk about the scope of the livery. So you get the rifle scope of course. You also get 10 years of warranty. You get this cover, plastic cover for the protection, plastic covers for the protection of ocular and the objective lens. You get a quick guide, a lens cleaning cloth, and you also get this hexagonal tool with which you can reset the um, ballistic 
or, or we could say tactical turret back to zero. Now we've reached the end of this short review and now it's time to sum up and point out the advantages and disadvantages or with other words what is great and what could still be improved with the 6 to 24 by 50 and the whole series series altogether. So the great thing is that you get a size for a little bit above 1000 euros. You get size rifle scope with size quality. This is definitely great. You get 10 years of warranty, the same as with the other more expensive rifle scopes, which is also very welcome. Uh, then we also like the price performance ratio. So even though the, the rifle scope is no longer made in Europe, but in Japan, the optical quality uh, makes up for the for the price of this product. So there the price performance ratio is very good Now if you move on to things that could be improved is well for some people it might be a deal breaker that this uh, Rifle scope is made in Japan even though the optical quality seems equal, but some hunters really strive to get a, a German made rifle. G they would mm, They would uh, expect to get a German made rifle scope uh, German size made rifle scope for a price above 1000 euros, so it might be a deal breaker for them. Then again, the option, the lack of, of choosing a model that has a rail underneath is also a disadvantage that could be changed in the future. And also, it would be better if they, if these came with a actual BDC elevation turret instead of the tactical turret. It would be easier to use for hunting and much more easier to understand for hunters. Now these are the disadvantages and the advantages. I think I point out the most important features of this uh, V4 6 to 24 by 50. If you have any additional questions please leave a comment in the comment section below or send us an email and if you found the video useful we'll be really happy if you've subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.